Hey book nerds, I'm here with a story for you and maybe a little recipe for success. My grandma Anne made the best pot roast on the face of the earth. It was pretty much famous. It had the thickest crust of salt on top of it and the meat inside was juicy and tender and melt in your mouth insane delicious. So here's my grandma's recipe to get that thick crust of salt. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your cut of meat, your roast, you're gonna wanna get a, a good one, and then you're going to put twice as much salt as you think you need, and then you're gonna double it. That's it, twice as much as you think you need, and then you're gonna double it. So then you're gonna cook it nice and low and slow cook it in the oven so it's tender and insanely delicious. How does this apply to your business? You're probably thinking, what the heck is Carly even talking about? Why are we talking about roast? I'm so confused. What are we doing here? Let me tell you, it does apply to your business. 100% it applies to your business. If you are thinking that you need something in your life that is going to solve some problems for you, maybe financially, it's going to give you something where you have a bit of identity, a sense of self and purpose and direction, and you're doing something important, here it is. This is something you could be doing. If you started Usborn for the discount, like I did, um, you might be surprised to know that you don't have to work much harder and make a significant income for your family than just ordering books for yourself. It is work, but it's not the kind of work where you're distracted from your family, you are, you know, flying around the world, you're working 60 hours a week in an office. No, you're in your jammies on the couch on Facebook, or you're taking a girl's night out once or twice a week doing home shows and maybe the occasional booth. Here's how this whole pot roast thing ties in. When you make that pot roast, put twice as much salt as you think you need and then you're gonna double it. Well, in your business, think bigger. By looking at your goals, assessing them, assessing the vision that you have for yourself. And then I want you to dream twice as big and then double it. Now that might be a crazy, insane goal that you just came up with. It might be something that seems so unattainable and crazy because maybe you already are dreaming big, but dream bigger. I am telling you, it is possible with Usborn and it is possible for you. It is, it is, like I said, not that much difference in work to go from making a couple hundred dollars a month to making a couple or several or even many thousand dollars a month. It really isn't, I promise. You're going to set goals for yourself. You're gonna ask yourself, hmm, can I do twice as much as I think I need to? Can I double it? And if you can, do it, okay? I'm not telling you to work 100 hours a week. That is not healthy. I'm also not telling you to eat the thick, salty crust on that roast because that's gross. You want just the meat, right, okay? In your business, maybe you've set a sales goal for yourself. Do twice as much as you think you need and then double it. Where does that number land you? Maybe you've set a recruiting goal. Do twice as much as you think you need and then double it. Where does that number land you? Are those insane numbers that are not even reachable? Maybe, but I don't think so. I think that they are reachable and this is going to get you dreaming bigger. It's gonna push you out of your comfort zone. If you're setting goals that make you feel comfortable, where you go, that's realistic, I can achieve that. You're not dreaming big enough. Push yourself a little bit harder dream a little bit bigger and use this philosophy for the next, I don't know, month or so and see if it changes anything for you. Do twice as much as you think you need and double it. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye.